Dear students, we have already discussed some of the physical properties of metal in the previous classes. Let's recall those. The surface of the metals are shiny, which means they have a metallic luster. So metals can be beaten into thin sheets. This property is called malleability. When metals strike a hard surface, they produce sound. That means metals are sonorous. Again, metals can be drawn into thin wires. That means metals are ductile. Metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity. These are some of the physical properties of metals. It is important to note that we can't distinguish between metals and non-metals only on the basis of their physical property. This is because there are some exceptions like Mercury is liquid at room temperature. The melting point of gallium and cesium is very low. Iodine is a non-metal but it is lustrous. Graphite the allotrope of carbon is a conductor of electricity. Metals like lithium, sodium and potassium are so soft that they can be cut with a knife. Due to these exceptions, metals and non-metals need to be classified on the basis of their chemical properties. We shall focus on some of the reactions while discussing the chemical property of the metals. These are what happens when metals are burnt in air? What happens when metals react with water? What happens when metals react with acids? And reactions of metals with solutions of other metal salts. Metals combine with oxygen to form metal oxides. These metal oxides are either basic or amphoteric in nature. Basic oxides like copper oxide and amphoteric oxides like aluminum oxide. Soluble oxides are dissolved in water to form alkalis. For example, sodium oxide dissolves in water to form sodium hydroxide. Metals like sodium and potassium react vigorously with oxygen. To prevent accidental fire, they are kept immersed in kerosene oil. On the other hand, metals like silver and gold never react with oxygen, even at higher temperature. This is why they are used in manufacturing of ornaments. What are the other metals you have seen that are used to manufacture ornaments? Metals react with water and produce a metal oxide and hydrogen gas. Metal plus water, metal oxide plus hydrogen. Soluble metal oxide dissolves in water to form metal hydroxides, but all metals don't react with water. Metals like sodium and potassium react vigorously with cold water. The reaction is so exothermic that the evolved hydrogen catches fire immediately. But magnesium reacts only with hot water. On the other hand, metals like aluminium, iron, and zinc only reacts with the steam. And some metals which don't react with water are lead, copper, gold, silver, etc. Metals react with acid to form salt and hydrogen gas. But hydrogen gas is not evolved when a metal reacts with nitric acid. It is because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the hydrogen produced to water and itself gets reduced to any of the nitrogen oxides. Magnesium and manganese react with very dilute nitric acid to evolve hydrogen gas. Reactive metals can displace less reactive metals from their compounds in solution. If we look at the reactivity series of the metals, we always find that the more reactive metal displaces the less reactive ones. You have probably come across similar reactions before.
What happens when an iron nail is dipped in a solution of copper sulfate? Dear students, hope you have got a fair idea about the physical and chemical properties of metals. We shall discuss about the extraction of metals in the next content. Thank you.